this entire approach valley has turned out to be just amazing. Here we are at the Lily Lake Trailhead. Just about impossible to see anything. It's about five in the morning and that's just a little more clear, but we're gonna go ahead and get on down the trail. I'm not quite sure why the trees are glowing like this, but pretty wild. I found out it's the dew that's giving everything this crazy glow. It's really cool. Really nuts. I think it's only going to be right down in the valley here. Okay, I met a guy, Carter, yesterday. He's done some super epic climbs. A lot of the same climbs that I've done and made videos of. Okay, we have left the Lily Lake Trail and we are continuing on toward Mount Lindsay. The scene is beautiful. I'm guessing we're at around 11, 11, 5, because we are just leaving Treeline now. And uh, the sun is just starting to rise. So we'll give you a little look around. Thought I would show you Blanca Peak in the background. Beautiful morning, super excited. Let's go for the adventure zone. Okay, we are just getting up the lower, more gentle portion of the valley. And next, we're gonna hit a head wall kind of enter a higher basin on our way to Lindsay. So things are looking great and the sunrise has been beautiful. She's getting a little steep. Oh yeah. Carter and I have been making excellent time up this headwall ridge. And actually, I just made a decision to take the easy way across. The trail has been fantastic for the fact that we're traveling over rough talus. So not a perfect trail, but for rough talus, really good. And so as far as 14ers go, so far this one has been beautiful and an incredible wilderness setting. And I am super happy that I came. That is for sure. So we are rocketing up this trail and easily going to hit the saddle here. And I want to give you a quick look at, wow, Mount Lindsay. A little bit of haze from the smoke. So we are on the ridge proper at this point, and it is great. I would say easy class three, class two, what have you. We are just left of the ridge proper, climbers left. And the easiest way up, although not as pleasant, is this kind of loose gully here. There's the saddle where we came from. Huge party of hikers. 
guided, I think. Uh, beautiful scene. But anyway, above the gully is the crooks of the route. And going to the left is a friendly little staircase. Up the middle is a little tougher. And up the right edge is the hardest way to go. Now, I think we're gonna go right and just stay on the ridge. The hardest way is all relative. So here's the base of the crooks at the ridge head wall. And a couple climbers right now are just jamming up it like it was no thing. So it's an excellent preview just to kind of know exactly what you'll have in store. Okay, well that wasn't so bad. We definitely cranked over some class four sections there and they were class four, somewhat exposed. Amazing. Okay, I get on up there, call it a summit.
All right, Verso Alto Ministries is showing their fellowship and epic adventure here just above the heart of the Adventure Zone. So uh, we'll see you down at the saddle and then maybe dancing around the nipple. Cute little trail beaver. I like you. Yeah. Well, that was a fantastic adventure. We are down back into the timber line. So I'm gonna guess around 11 or so. A oh, beautiful place, I, I love it. I don't think you need to climb a 14er to come here. It is spectacular. Going over a little waterfall right now. As far as the climb on Lindsay and the uh, Iron Nipple, I thought they were fantastic. I would even say, aside from a little route finding, these are good beginner routes. They really are. The climbing was not very hard. You definitely had to be in the right place though in order for it to be manageable. So that's important. So this would be a good novice route as long as you're sure you can stay on route. The climbing on the route was not very difficult. You stick to the ridge for really most of the climb and then you kind of turn away from the ridge to the climber's left when it starts getting scary and it turns into a knife edge ridge. And then you go up that gully just on the left and it should be thoroughly covered in my drone footage. So I'm thinking this is fantastic. I did coach several beginners and it looked like they were having a great time as well. So highly encouraged, beautiful area all around. The only downside is you probably do want a four wheel drive to get up there or something with some clearance and either that or you don't really like your car. So there's that long drive but that was beautiful too i even saw a bear on the way up so wow totally awesome there's just not much i can say bad about any of it would recommend visiting iron nipple if you get the chance as well